Hi everyone, I'm Chef Taylor with Nourish Colorado and welcome to our Recognize When to Mechanize video training series. We're going to be talking about small mechanizing equipment so we can create better efficiencies in our kitchen when dealing with local product. Today we're going to talk about the Sunkiss Sectionizer, originally made for sectionizing oranges, but we're finding a lot of different really cool ways to use this machine. Okay, the great part about this machine is that it comes in mostly fully assembled. There are a couple little pieces that we'll talk about later, but first I'm gonna talk about three main tips that'll help when working with this machine. Number one, safety first. We're gonna lift our arm here, and you can see on the back of it, there's this little pin attached to a string, and there's a little hole right here on this rail. We can stick this pin through this rail, and that'll keep this top from closing down. That'll keep anybody from be able, being able to close down this arm in case there's a hand in here or something like that. Um, number two, we want to make sure that this has a place to live in our kitchen. We talk about zoning all the time with this type of equipment. So you can see there are a lot of pieces here that could get knocked around. We want to try and avoid that so we're not bending these things so it can last a long time for us. A safe place to live in the kitchen. Number three, we want to make sure to wash this by hand. There are a lot of open seams here on the back and underneath that are going to collect water if we run them through a dish machine. And also if it's a high temperature dish machine, it'll start to warp over time. So we want to avoid that. Okay, let's talk about assembly. We have three main pieces we want to talk about. We have this base, we have our blades, and we have every blade has an associated plunger for it. Let's talk about the base really quick. Once again, it has this slot machine arm that we pull it up and it makes these rails go up and we have this pin for safety to keep this from coming down. Right here in the middle is where we're going to put our blades and then right here at the top we have these two little screws where we'll screw in our plunger. Okay, let's talk about these blades really quick. The three blades we're going to be talking about today are the slicer, the wedger, and the core blade. And you can see that every single blade is color coded and has its own plunger that goes with it, okay? Each plunger has its own shape that corresponds with the blade. So that'll fit, but it won't fit in this one. So we want to make sure that we're using the correct plunger for each of these blades. They also have a rubber gasket that goes here on the outside. Uh, we decided to leave those out of this video because they're a little visually obstructing to what we're doing so you can see these blades. Okay, assembly is very simple. Let's go ahead and lift our slot machine arm. And remember safety first, we're going to put this pin right in the hole there. So this isn't going to fall on us. We're going to do the blade first. It fits right into the grooves here and should fit nice and snug. Then we'll get the associated plunger. You can see there are two screw holes here that we'll go ahead and pop it up to the top and you can see these screws popped up a little bit. We'll screw them in. So they are nice and tight. Perfect. We can grab our arm, take this pin out, and now we're ready to go. Okay, now that we're all assembled, let me show you how quick and easy this machine is to use. We have our wedger blade already set up in here. Let's talk about flow a little bit. I have my product ready to be cut right here on the left. In here underneath my sectionizer, underneath the blade, I have a circular container. Uh, the circular Cambro container works really well, or you can use a pitcher that has a handle on it. That makes it really easy to catch and then transfer over to our finished product container right over here. Um, sometimes with uh, our product that is going through this machine, we need to do a little bit of pre-prep. So we're gonna make cucumber spears. You can see I trimmed the ends and I cut them in thirds so they can fit better into this machine. Let's go ahead and show you how it works. I'm gonna set that here, push it through, and we have our cucumber spears ready to go. Okay, now that we're done with cucumber wedges, let's go ahead and use a tougher produce item. We'll go ahead and use potatoes. Sometimes it's tough to get a knife through these. Let's see how the sectionizer does. Stick it through here. Great, look at that. 
awesome looking potato wedges. Now we're going to move into a very similar process, but this time I have the slicer blade set up. So I can show you that right there. We have the blue slicer blade and the blue plunger ready to go. We're going to do cucumbers again, but instead of spears, we'll do slices. A uh, couple different cuts that we can do with this. You can see with this one, I cut it in half, so we can do half moons. And you still got to do the same thing where you cut the ends off, cut them in thirds, so it'll fit right there just like that. We've got half moons and we'll do full moons a little bit later, these full pieces. Okay, let's move on to the core blade. You can see that I've already snuck it in here and here's the associated green core blade for that. Let me pop the pin in here so I can show you. There's a little central blade in here that's gonna make a little circle that's supposed to go around the core of our apple. It should set in and this one's a little bit tricky because you have to line up the core with that blade so you can go a little bit slower with it. But this is a great blade to use our local Colorado apples and pears with. Let's go ahead and get started. Okay, and you can see we've got our cored apple right here. There are a couple different ways to do this. You can do this over and over again. Pick out the cores in a big batch or you can pick them out one by one. Whatever way feels comfortable for you. Okay, let's talk about a quick tip for dealing with pears and it works well for apples too. Sometimes people like to line it up, top end up this way and that makes sense. But actually if you take the stem and line it up on top of the blade like that, it should line itself up for you a little bit easier. There we go. Perfectly lined up core. Let's knock out all of these pears and apples and see how far we can get. All right, now that we're done chopping all of our produce, it's time for disassembly and cleaning. We'll go ahead and lift up the slot machine arm again, use this pin again for safety. We wanna take the plunger out first before the blade because there isn't a whole lot of room to work with here when we're disassembling that blade. So we'll unscrew this plunger. That's out. I have a hand underneath it ready to push and a hand on top ready to catch it and pop it out. Same sort of thing like we talked about at the beginning of the video. We want to wipe this down by hand and wash everything by hand. Same is true for the blade and the plunger. We want to wash these by hand in the three compartment sink. We don't want to just throw them in there and walk away. We want to make sure we're there through the entire process. And then we have our wash and sandy bucket here ready to go just to wash this base down by hand. 
All right, as you can see, this is a very versatile and quick machine when we're trying to process this local Colorado produce. If you're looking to buy one of these, this base starts at around $250 and normally comes with one of the wedger blades. Um, and the other blades, if you buy extra blades, start at like $60 to $75. There are a ton of different blades that you can get. There's another different type of slicer blade that is red that has the serrated edges, specific for tomatoes, but it works really well for mushrooms, strawberries, other soft produce items that you want to throw through there. The wedger has a bunch of different variations. This, was, this one is an eight wedger, but there's a 10, there's a four, there's a six, and there also is just a half blade too. I like that half blade for oranges and apples. If the apples and pears are sometimes a little hard to line up with the core, that half blade works really well to just cut it in half and the little kids can kind of cut through and, and eat through it that way. Okay, look at all this beautiful produce that we just cut with this machine, and it didn't take any time at all. I hope this video gave you more confidence if you're thinking about buying one of these machines, or if you already have one of these machines in your kitchen, I hope it gave you more confidence to be able to use it and use it in fun ways. Thank you so much for supporting Colorado's local agriculture and feeding your kids tasty meals.